So one of the issues with fountain pens is that the ink tends to run out fairly quickly. Also, the ink will dry out inside of the pen on its own fairly quickly in most fountain pens. So what do you do when that happens? Maybe you drop the pen behind your desk or you uh, forgot to use it for a couple weeks and all of a sudden your cartridge is looking dried out. Or maybe you just did a lot of writing and now your fountain pen cartridge is empty like this one. So uh, what's the next step? Obviously you could pull out the cartridge, put a new one in and you're good to go. But it's usually not that simple or sometimes it's not that simple because you have dried ink on the inside here and maybe you don't wanna throw out that cartridge which it's uh, wasteful or you would rather just move over to a non cartridge based ink. This video should walk through that whole process about how we solve for a dry pen and just kind of reboot our fountain pen. I'll be using a Platinum Preppy, which is a really great pen that sells for about three or $4, uh, but this is gonna be true for basically any fountain pen. So to clean out the pen, it's a pretty simple process. We'll need the pen, obviously. We will need a fountain pen syringe or some way to get ink back into the cartridge. Uh, that we'll need later. We'll need fountain pen ink. In this case, I have a bottle of ink, which it's much more economical to buy it by the bottle. The, the ink itself doesn't matter. All fountain pen ink is roughly the same. And then, you know, just like a, a some sort of jar or something, that we're gonna do the cleaning in and some paper towels and just general stuff around the house. The first thing you need to do is clean out the fountain pen and then clean out the cartridge. So cleaning out the fountain pen is fairly simple or this bottom half of the fountain pen is fairly simple. You just run some water through it and let it sit. Cleaning out the cartridge is quite another story. You can't really run water in here because there's no place for the water to go if you run into it. And it just sort of creates bubbles in here and the, never really gets cleaned. I like to use some sort of syringe like this. This is just, it's called a blunt tip syringe or a uh, fountain pen syringe. And it's basically just a uh, medical style syringe with this blunt tip, which you could put in here and you could flush out the inside very easily. And then you can clean this thing off and it's it'll last forever. You can buy these blunt tip syringes uh, all over the place. You can get a lot of use and multiple fills out of a single cartridge. This thing is in no way worn out after just one usage. You could easily get 10 refills from a cartridge before you have to worry about it wearing out. And some cartridges will last better than others. For example, like I've had really good luck with these, the platinum ones. Uh, Lamy's work pretty well too. Some of the other ones like Parker cartridges I haven't had as much luck with over time, but uh, your mileage may vary there. So there are many, many videos online about cleaning out fountain pens, but the process is very simple. We'll do an abbreviated version here, just so everyone can get a feel for it. Uh, what you wanna do is get all the dried ink out of this feed here and out of this little area under the nib. And that's pretty simple. Uh, initially, you could start just by running some warm water through this. You'll see there's blue, in this case, it was a blue-black ink, so there's blue ink coming out of it, and it's starting to clean out. If you just do this for, you know, 10 minutes with a little bit of pressure, but not too much pressure, and the water warm, but not hot, eventually this water will run not cl quite clear, but it'll get close to clear. And all this stuff is waterproof, so you don't have to worry about that. Later on, just get some sort of vessel, and you could do the final step by letting the mechanism or the, letting the pen body sit in some warm water. And over time, it'll get the, the rest of the ink out. And you wanna do that for that last final push, not really for the whole thing since running it underwater is much easier. For the cartridge, it's much harder, right? Because now if we run water through it. You can get some ink out if you're really pretty careful with it, the liquid doesn't want to come out of here. You hold it upside down, it's held in place, right? So you need to shake it and then you shake it, you shake it, you shake it, you create a mess. You don't want to get this on your paint at your house, on the walls or anything like that. And it doesn't really want to come out. Even if you shake pretty hard, 
you still got a fair bit of liquid in there. So what you could do for this is you could put together your fountain pen syringe, this little thing, you wanna be careful. It is called a blunt tip, but it is somewhat sharp. You fill it with water. In this case, I use the old water, but you can use clean water. I'd recommend using clean water. And now you flush this through there. Uh, you can actually put it all the way in and pull out some of that really dark water in the back. And now with just a couple flushes, this cartridge will start looking very clean. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some of this in the back here won't be ink. It'll actually just be staining on the plastic. Similar, similarly here, anywhere where there is a an edge or a seam, it'll just stain and there'll be some, maybe some leftover dye, but it's not like this is all ink back here. As we do this process more, we could flush that out and pull it. And now we see it's starting to get really clean. You wanna remember that most fountain pen cartridges have a little ball in there. That's this, a little BB. That is in there just to break up any big bubbles. That should stay in here. So you wanna repeat that process until this is looking relatively clean. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty clean. You can also let it soak overnight and repeat the process or let it soak for a couple hours and repeat the process if you really wanna get some of that, that stuck in stuff off. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So after about five minutes of cleaning, we have a relatively clean fountain pen cartridge. You know, not immaculate, but good enough. And this is gonna dry out on its own. You could also try to stick a Q-tip or something in there to get any excess water, but mainly shaking it will do the job. We have a clean fountain pen syringe that's ready for the next job. And we have a fountain pen feed that is slowly leaking or draining out any excess ink that's sort of just pulling up at the bottom or maybe creating some like smoky type wisps drifting out of the top. And that'll sit in this warm water for a couple hours before we give it a shake dry and then an air dry. After that, everything will be clean and ready to go. Okay, so at this point we have all of our materials together and the pen is fully dry. You can see the cartridge is totally dry and it's clean enough, totally clean up here. This is where it got stained and that ball is in there and it's free flowing. It should just shouldn't be stuck in there. So uh, the pen body or the, the feed right here, you can see most of the ink is gone. There's a little bit of condensation. That's not a big deal. Any sort of liquid in here will just sort of make the ink a little bit more watery at first, but it'll dissipate really quickly. And I've cleaned out the fountain pen syringe, which we're gonna be using that in a minute. Here we have some ink. Again, this is some pilot ink. You wanna give it a, a shake or whatever, but it doesn't really matter what ink you get. All you wanna do is open it up, pull in a very little bit. Again, you could use the indicator on the side, but a cartridge is only gonna be about a half a milliliter. So don't fill this thing up with ink too much. You really just need a drop or two. So this is a 10 milliliter fountain pen syringe. And I only have less than a millimeter in here. I put this in here carefully. And just slowly fill it. Put the rest of your ink back using some paper here on the bottom, just so uh, it's inevitably somewhat messy. Always put the cap back on their ink should be the first thing you do. It's obviously a little harder with one hand if there's a camera in front of you, but get the point. And now we're going to reinsert this in the feed. You won't have to push too hard now, so be careful there because there's no seal to break. And now we're gonna wait and get this fountain pen started. It usually just takes a minute or two. You can give your feed a little bit or give the cartridge a little bit of a squeeze to jumpstart the process. But that's gonna get going pretty soon. Some will go faster than others. You wanna give your syringe a good clean now, just so we could reuse it. 
because that ink is nice and wet or nice and fresh, should be no problem to clean that out. And the fountain pen is fully active now. At first, the color may come across as being a little bit light. That'll be any of the extra water or condensation that was in here. So the ink color won't be as dark as it will be. But after five or 10 minutes of writing, we should get our true color going. This thing is flowing quite nicely. I see the pilot blue. This is the Sukiyo, which is a, you know, like a kind of a blue gray. I think this is pretty close to the color and that's working as intended. So now we've uh, fully rebooted that platinum preppy and taken it from a uh, totally dry, unusable status to being basically like a new pen with a non-platinum ink color in that cartridge. You can repeat this process as many times as you want. If you don't let it dry out and your cartridge is empty, you can just pull the cartridge, fill it, and put it back on. You only have to do this whole deep clean process if you want to change the color and have no uh, you know, shift from one color to the other, or if uh, you let the pen sit for a couple months and it dries out. So this could be a lot simpler process if you're using the pen all the time. So that's it. That's your Platinum Preppy or any fountain pen, in that case, Reboot. Thanks for watching.